That's right, a place to call home, the gift of child adoption. And you know, every month we talk to Crystal Ziegler, who's the adoption specialist at A Place to Call Home, about children who are looking for those loving families. And today we have the opportunity to introduce you to a child who's been recently adopted, as well as her new mom. And Crystal, will you please do the honors yes, for us? Yes, I would love to. I'd like to introduce you to Julie Smith and Good morning. Good morning. Um, her daughter, Victoria Smith. And Victoria, can I start with you? How old are you? Eight. You're eight years old, and you were just recently adopted this past November, right, on National Adoption Day? Yes. November 22nd? November 22nd. And how long had you been with your new mom? Um, A couple months? Yeah. yeah Something May, like that. Right? Mm -hmm. I understand the day you were being adopted that you had your nails painted and you had something very special on your nails. What did you paint on your nails? Crosses. You painted crosses? And why did you do that? Because God brought me to this family. Because God gave you to this family. Oh my goodness. I think that <laughs> I, the first, I mean, I'm going to tear up. I know. And I'm sure the entire courtroom. <laughs> was in tears when you when you had said that. They were. And you love your new family. What what are you asking for Christmas this year? Um <laughs> lots of things. <laughs> oh <laughs> the list is really long, huh? Yeah, yes. <laughs> well <laughs> congratulations to you. And Julie, I mean here the two of you oh look you've got tears in your eyes. Okay, no, okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to hold back. <laughs> when you um, started the whole process of adoption, mm -hmm. I mean, did you did you think you would be going down this road at all? Absolutely not. I really didn't. Um, I was a career independent woman. Never even really even pictured myself being married, you know. And um, but it's funny because. God has a plan for you. He throws you a curveball, and either you go with it or you fight it, but the end result will always be the same, you know? So I fell in love, um, deeply in love, and I couldn't have children. But I didn't find that a curse. I just knew there was a different path for me, and I, and I felt comfort in knowing there was a different path. What it was, I didn't know. And I've always been involved in children, uh, in abused children, through a court-appointed special advocate, um, teaching children. But never did I ever find myself adopting or going down to fostering because we were um, a single couple traveling the world, just doing whatever we wanted, you know. And and then um, my husband and I, we sat down, we're like, you know, we need to bring some children into our home, you know, to foster. Mm -hmm. And so we did. And our first child, who was Aries, we got him when he was 18 months. And my, I, I guess, my motherly instincts just kicked in and it, it doesn't matter if a child comes from your from your physical body or not the love is no less the no less the deeper it I would die for my children and now your family is and now complete we're complete we have a boy yeah. and then Victoria and we're happy for and their brother and sister all the way all, all, all the, way. the way and Crystal walk yeah. us through the process I mean so so yeah. here uh, Julie had fostered for yeah. a couple months and then they they did the uh, adoption process is it difficult to do no um, you know Julie came and she wanted a, a girl and um, they did go through some bumpy roads to get there and I said let me you know let me find you your girl and um, they got the information about her and then they met her we met her at a Chinese restaurant the first Ooh. time and she was very very quiet and then um, they started doing visits and um, Aries just, and Aries just fell in love with her her adoptive brother and they just became a family instantly instantly yeah it was just that it match just, made in heaven was that just, was meant to be and they all look like each other you know I really mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah mm. I, they just she looks just like her brother and, um, and they are just a family yeah oh well Merry Christmas to you thank you so much for coming <laughs> down you. and sharing your story yeah. and if you at home would like more information or add a family member to your family please give them a call 480-456-0549, a place to call home. We'll be right back with more of the Morning Scramble.